and it's going to be a very short video of how to use macros or my way of uh, sort of using macros inside of uh, the Star Trek Online game. However, just keep in mind uh, if you try to use this for botting purposes, which means parking yourself in a map in somewhere and walking away and let this particular macro just run, 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 and run uh, without you being at the keyboard, uh, you will most 99% sure you're going to end up being banned in the game and they will not let you have your account back. Period. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest that. But uh, this is how you set up macros uh, in for automated trays in Star Trek Online. So first you will need uh, the STO keybinds uh, program uh, which uh, is the link is in the description so you can go download that from sourceforge.net uh, uh, also you will need auto hotkey which is also uh, uh, there's a link in the description uh, and the version is there as well um, you can see the version there as a highlight you will need to install both of those um, once you install auto hotkey uh, there's also going to be a macro script uh, that I've created uh, you also need to download that particular script uh, and basically that script is just a bunny hop uh, to get the spacebar to you know just hit over and over again with a particular uh, hotkey that you set which in this case is F11 so and also uh, for laptop users, sometimes your function keys are designed to do other things, so you may have to hit Shift F11 uh, for laft laptop users. Um, moving forward, this particular uh, macro key will be in the link of the description uh, for you to download as well. Um, however, also I do want to mention that if you need to, you can change that key to any key that you want on the keyboard. I just put it at F11 because it's not really being used for anything. Alright, and on top of that, okay, so let's just go over this. Install STO keybinds, install auto hotkey, uh, download the uh, script. Uh, once you do that, um, you will have to create the keybind itself which you want to open up the STO keybinds you want to go ahead and go over here and you want to make sure master set is highlighted you want to add key then you want to make sure that none is highlighted you want to go down and assign the spacebar to that key once you assign spacebar to that key you want to give that spacebar actions so remember I said this would be an, uh, this macro uh, does 22 or 23 abilities 23 at the most uh, generally I try to stay at 22 so you want to give it a couple of actions there uh, for the spacebar um, you can give it one more and you can only do two abilities on that last activity so you select the first activity go over here to activity you do execute full tray or whatever however you want to set it up but in my case I'm going to show you what I do execute full tray and then I assign that tray to the tray number I want and then I go over and do another full tray and then I assign the tray number again but the last one I only execute partial tray um, and I do of course the tray number and then from what slot to whatever so remember we're, we can only do 22 or 23 abilities so we'll do tray or slot 1 to slot 3 okay and that'll That'll, each tray is 10 slots, so that's 10, 20, and then 3, so 23 abilities. Once you've got all that set up, go right up here to the top, and you want to create bind file. Once you do, the bind command's already entered, uh, so you go ahead and you copy to clipboard, and of course, open Star Trek. Go to the chat box in Star Trek, Control V this particular command in the chat box in Star Trek and hit enter once you do that the bind will load into the game and a good way to easy way to test that uh, of course is going to be after we start the rapid fire STO um, which is the script 
So in this particular case, once you start auto hotkey, auto hotkey automatically detects um, this particular script. So the script will have a H icon over it once you download it. Okay, and then you can just double click it to start it. You really won't see anything on your screen. You will also well, you will see a H icon down by your uh, taskbar and the programs that are running in the background. Uh, and if you hover over it, you will notice that rapidfiresto.hk is there. That's how you know that it's running. And then if you want to just test it on your desktop, put your cursor in the uh, search box and just hit F11. Once you do, you will see that the cursor starts running across the search box. That means that spacebar is being hit multiple times. And you just hit F11 again, and it will turn off. Now, after you've entered, you know, after you've created the binds in game, like I just showed you, you see that the rapid fire works. You go into the game, and you set up your trays on the particular tray numbers that you set up in the key bonds, which in this case will be one, two, and three. Uh, you set all those trays up with abilities however you want to set them up uh, and then when you're done setting them up uh, you just hit your F11 and the trays will automate constantly so that's uh, pretty much how you set up the macro inside of Star Trek Online it's real easy to do